75 years ago, at the close of World War II, hundreds of interned Japanese pearl divers were deported from Australia. The move largely ended a lucrative industry based in Queensland's Torres Strait. Now their descendants are preparing for Obon, the Japanese Day of the Dead, to mark the economic and social contribution of what was once Australia's largest Japanese community. Tending the dead in Japanese tradition, just like their father did. Siblings Chiomi and Russell are preserving his legacy. Tommy Taro, Tommy Fuji, one of the most famous pearl divers of the Torres Strait. It's just respect, you know, that you, you take care and you look after them. His grave on Thursday Island, surrounded by hundreds of other Japanese divers, seasonal workers who died on the job. They're not forgotten on Obon, the Japanese Day of the Dead. At August the 15th, we gather here, the Japanese community and the priests, and they, they do it, the special recital. Between the 1880s and 1942, 6,000 Japanese divers worked in the Torres Strait. Tommy Fuji was one of them. He said it was a dangerous job, you know, small money. Cheap labour for then a major Queensland industry. Japanese people were allowed to stay, exempt from the white Australia policy. Thursday Island was Australia's largest Japanese community, commemorated in the local museum. What is in this cabinet is a pearling lugger. It's a model of one of the luggers. So these luggers, hundreds of them are throughout the Torres Strait area. One in every 10 Japanese divers died. Apart from their many descendants, the main reminder of the Japanese here in the Torres Strait is this heritage listed cemetery. But of the 700 buried here, most have no headstone, no name, just a white post marking their grave. These are the original posts that my father put have gone and decayed. So we since then have replaced them. Posts funded by the Japanese government. The sacrifice key to more than 120 years of diplomatic relations with Australia. And the starting point was these you know, shell divers. So yes, you know, we can learn a lot from their experiences and history. Tommy Fuji arrived in 1925, was a diver for 23 years and married with children when the Second World War broke out. Fearing they would collaborate with the advancing enemy, 359 Japanese nationals in the Torres Strait were interned and most deported to Japan in 1946. So this is a short period, yet you know, darkest hours in our bilateral relationship. Tommy Fuji was one of only three Japanese allowed to return to the Torres Strait because they were married to local women. He became an Australian citizen and guardian of the Japanese Divers Cemetery. So that's a medal he got from the Emperor for his, um, his relationship between Australian and Japanese. Chiomi and Russell have now taken on their father's role. Obong Day, it is like bringing the community plus the younger generation together to, to know and find where their heritage is. Honouring a contribution largely forgotten in Australian history. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.